uh, red blinking lights error so you might have encountered this kind of error no? the there is a cut wire and there you go now let's check so all right so it's uh more or less now it's okay no hello guys thank you for tuning again in this video so as you can see we have here an epson l120 who has a uh, red blinking lights error so you might have encountered this kind of error no, in your printer so the model is epson l120 so what we are going to check here is um need to check the inside no, of the printer if there are objects that obstructs the printer head from moving and also i'm trying to uh, unlock the the latch that uh, holds the printer head and try to see if how how will the printer will react no? and also i want to check you know, the other side the right side of the where the printer head is uh, resting i want to check if there are um, parts or objects that is um, blocking the printer head from moving okay so also here um, I've skipped the video now from the opening and I will put a link on the video below so that you can check so as you can see um, after opening the, uh, the cover we notice now that the there is a cut wire inside so normally this one is caused by like a rat or a little rat that can penetrate inside the printer and cut the wires and since you've already knew that there are cut wires maybe, uh, maybe you just have to check also other uh, parts of the printer no? so here in the board you have to check also if there are no cut wires just to double check and then so what we have here no what we have done was we just have to resplice the cut wire so it's i believe uh, you can do it now uh, because it's so easy no? just have to reconnect it no? splice it the wires so that it can be connected again to the going to the uh, carriage motor so uh, maybe in this part you know, we can have a, a sting you know? so just just have to uh, return the printer head you know, from its uh, starting position and again lock the uh, latch by the way we are doing this you now to prevent the printer from uh, initializing you know, or doing the performing the head cleaning process so let's, let's uh, power up the printer let's plug the the power cord okay so just plug it properly and plug it to the outlet so you will check you now if uh, there are still errors or the if the problem is solved because initially we had this uh, blinking lights error so as you can see no, uh, the printer head is moving no, unlike uh, uh, unlike uh, before no, but it has an error so as you can see also there are no red light uh, seen on the printer so right now let's try to print uh, let's make a test print I mean. so let me just uh, turn it on okay. so what we are going to do is also to check the um, print results 
you want to know if the uh, printout is also good so let's have a self test no? just have to press uh, simultaneously the power and the resume button like three to four seconds and then let's wait for the printer to print the nozzle print go now let's check so all right so it's uh more or less no it's okay no um cyan magenta yellow so this is it so thank you for tuning in 